me give you a few tips in regards to empathy. Okay, what you must do, what you mustn't do, and so forth. And from these key principles that I'm going to mention now, you'll find that actually your skills in empathizing, your skills to display that quality, um, that skill will improve. Number one, when your patient talks to you, try not to interrupt. I call it the golden minute. Whenever you start talking to a patient, let them speak to you. That way, you'll get to understand what it is that they're worried about. You'll see their body language, you'll see their verbal language, and you'll be able to understand that person. You cannot empathize unless you really get a feel. You really get a feel for how your patient is at the time. So, number one, you must listen, all right? It's not a passive listening, it's an active listening. What I mean by that is that when a person is talking about their problem, when a person is communicating with you, you must actively listen. You must take note of what they are saying because what they are saying will enable you to then use that, as we call it, a narrative-based, okay? A narrative-based consultation. You'll be able to do that later on. So for example, if somebody says, you know, I've been, you know, I've been really upset, doctor, so many things are going on, you know, you register that fact, all right? I've not been sleeping well, I'm feeling really tired and things are going wrong at home. You take note of some of this um, vocabulary that they have just given you. Because when it comes to narrative consulting, when it comes to showing empathy, it's so important that you say things like, oh, so you mentioned that things aren't going so well at home. I wonder what you mean. You mentioned that um, you're feeling tired. Um, can you perhaps explain that to me better so that I can understand what you're going through? Do you see what I mean? That's what I mean by active listening. Throughout the conversation, when they are talking to you, when you are talking to them, you must maintain eye contact. You must keep your eyes focused on them. Don't look at your screen, don't look at someone else, don't look at the ceiling, don't look at the poster over there, look at them, all right? And then what you find is you're giving them the visual cues that yes, you have my full attention, you have my full involvement in this conversation, I am not distracted, I am not thinking about anything else, I am not shopping online while I'm, you're talking to me, I am yours throughout this conversation and I will help you. So you have that purchase from your patients. You must show your support, okay? Now, like I said to you, when a person gives you information, you will then extrapolate, you will then investigate, you will then ask more questions in order to understand them more, okay? And what that then does, um, in, as I mentioned in the last point in the slide, it allows you to, it enables you to put yourself in that patient's, in that person's shoes. Mm -hmm.